Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 8. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing the Coffee Break Challenge, the One Make Races, and also the National A License. Uh, so first off, we are going to start off with Coffee Break. Uh, the first one is a Eco Challenge. Uh, how far can you go on one litre of fuel? And the Cone Challenge again. I actually quite like the Cone Challenge, so I'm looking forward to that one. But let's go for the Eco Challenge. And we have to get 2.18 miles to get uh, first. Second is 1.86 and 1.24. I have a feeling, because we're in a manual transmission, we should get a little bit of extra assistance. So I think I'm going to be relying on... I mean, if we had Clutch as well... If we had clutch as well, that could give us a huge assistance. Who can travel the furthest in two minutes using only a single litre of fuel? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a fair point. Um, we only have two minutes. And it takes about two minutes just to get up towards the first hairpin. Which is around about three miles. So... Uh, wish me luck. Hopefully we can get it. Um, yeah. Hopefully. Let's load it. We're starting from standing start as well. Not gonna lie, this is challenging. And I went off track. That is so difficult to focus on, like, driving without. How come just sitting there is used up 0.3 of my fuel? That's not fair. Bollocks. We went off track again. This is going to be challenging. I don't... <laughs> this is a challenge and a half. I do like challenges, though. I don't even know what my tactic is. Let me just try going, like... Okay, flat out is not an ideal... I should probably focus on coasting a little bit more instead of braking. Oh! When you run out of fuel, it... Can't... What? Oh, that's not fair. I would have thought it would have run out and made you coast. Alright, looks like we're going again then. Right, let's do this. Cool. Should be able to coast around this corner very nicely.
Right, we are at much more fuel than we were before. Right, let's get over here. Come on. We're going to make it. We made silver. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, gold! Get in there. Let's do it. Gold medal. Awesome. And it was only on like the fifth attempt. To be fair though, we only got one official, like two official attempts. The one before that and that one. But 9,000 credits is a very good paycheck for that. So we are going to exit and go straight onto the cone challenge now. Which is going to be awesome and really fun to do let's do this uh open area layout we're obviously going to be focusing on trying to get as many cones as possible with this at the uh, gran turismo arena right we got to get 180 cones i have not seen how the cones are laid out yet so oh that's not good They're spread out like crazy. And we have a time limit as... Oh, we're aiming to get as many cones as possible. Okay, we got 125 for that first attempt. Let's try again and see how many we can get now. Hundred twenty nine. Oh, it is. There's a section of cones at the back though, where there's loads, and I have a feeling you've got to finish there. Um, but we are going to exit this one for now. Um, we've given it a try. It's not gone well, so we'll try that again another time. Um, but that is the coffee break challenges now. That was a really fun sort of like just mess around, not trying too hard. Little bit of fun. Uh, so next up are the one make races. First of all, we've got the Toyota Prius. Uh, and then the Subaru BRZ and GT86. Awesome. Right, so we are... Oh, do we have to actually buy these cars? Uh, that's great. Let's go grab ourselves a Prius and a GT86 then. Right, dealerships. Uh, where is Toyota? It's over here. No, I'm not buying that Prius. Which one's the good Prius? Prius G09. That might be it. Yeah, Prius G09. Let's buy that. Select color. We'll go for red mica metallic. There we go. Buy. We've got ourselves a Toyota Prius. Fun times. 
That is a disgusting car. That is horrible. Yes, I want to use it now. I want to use it once, and I'm never going to use it again after it. Right, here we go. National B. Let's go for the one make races. Race number one. Let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Right, and we are on Silverstone as well. This is going to be fun. What cars do we have against us? We have 10 Prius G09s. Oh, they are all what we pick out of the Priuses. Fair enough. Right, here we go. Prius, it's your time to shine. There's no transmission, which is a plus. Awesome. Perfect. So we've overtaken two cars so far. Hopefully we can overtake another two on this section now. We've overtaken one more Prius. That's three every lap. We're going to end up in first. Fair enough. But it has to be three Priuses every lap that we overtake. Perfect. Nice, 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 nice. I don't like driving Priuses. Not my cup of tea. They're very slow. Tedious. Horrible. Probably should have put like better tires on. But we're alright for now. We've taken our three cars for this lap, so hopefully we can catch up with that first car. On the very final corner. That would be awesome to get that done. Perfect. Right, just got the final car up in front. Yeah, we could overtake you on the main straight. All right, we're slipstreaming, slipstreaming, slipstreaming. Now pulling on this guy. Awesome. It is weird not shifting though. It is a very weird experience not having to shift. Here we go. And coming up to the line. Let's do this. Nearly four minutes for that race. What on earth? That is disgusting. The next one's going to be even worse because the track's like two minutes long. It's going to be ridiculous. 
5,920 credits. Very good. Let's exit and buy ourselves a Subaru BRZ now. Right, come on. Let's go. Uh, we are going to... Yeah, we're buying the BRZ for this one. Uh, where is Subaru? Subaru is Japanese. Here we go. Uh, so we've got the BRZ S. Is there the 2014 BRZ in this? Did they make that in this game? Uh, by the looks of it, no. They do have the Subaru BRZ Sport though. Can't afford it. Right, let's grab ourselves this one then. And we're going to be picking this one in. Ooh, silver metallic. Yes, please. Purchase. Yes, please. We got a BRZ. Amateur collector. Perfect. You acquired the sterling silver metallic paint color. Yes, please. Can we use the car now? Thank you. Um, what is our performance point rating that we need for this? Um, 430 or less, sports hard or less. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure we got sports hards on. Okay, we have sports hards, that's good. And it was 430 or less, so... Mid-range turbo kit. I've just realised how much money I've spent on this. Right, that's it. We are at 426 performance points. So let's go and do the Subaru. BRZ or GT86. That is looking really good. Fuji Speedway we are at. Look at that circuit. 8.51 miles of driving to do today. Right, so we have Subaru BRZs and Toyota GT86s mixed together for this race. It is a very pretty car, to be honest. That is a GT86. It's so difficult to tell whether it's a GT86 or a BRZ from these distances. Especially as we know they're both. But which one's which? Obviously it was a partnership between Skion uh, for the RCZ or something. Um, Toyota with the GT86 and Subaru with the BRZ. But obviously they had that partnership. The cars are identical. They could have at least made bigger variations between them. Not complete copy and pastes of each other's car. Oh, sorry, not sorry. Right, here we go. Very nice. Oh, a little bit of a slide through there as well. Perfect. Right, we're going to rely on the other GT86 to trail them. We're in third and we've only done one lap so far. We could have easily done this with two laps. Oh! Oh, I just saw that car turn ugly. It's just like 
change of frame, the car was pretty then ugly. I swear our car sounds a little bit broken. Yeah, car sounds are a little bit broken at the moment, I think. All I can hear is the turbo whistle going tsh. I want the traction control off, that's all I'm asking for. And then my car can feel faster. Because right now it feels slow and sluggish. Here we go, perfect. This is going to be a six minute race, but that's not a problem. Right, we're going to see how fast this car goes. The acceleration is dreadful, so we already know that. Oh, we don't have another car to slipstream either. Because we were slipstreaming before it got 140. Let's say this is a legitimate speed test then. One thirty five. Very good. Awesome. Oh, we cut the corner like crazy there. Nice. Right, onto the brakes. We're coming to the final section of this race. I'm really looking forward to, like, um, doing the Super Championship. Like, the Super events at the end. That's going to be so much fun to go through them. I don't even know what they are. It's going to be, it's obviously exciting seeing all this new stuff and it's like going through all these missions. Especially having like one, these one make races. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Right, so that is now the one make races done. Next up, we're going to be moving on to the A license. Yeah, we're going to be on A license. So that's going to be National A. Winner. To be fair, the AI car taking over that spin did a very good job. Six minutes, 21 seconds. Would have been faster, but we finished in style. And that's all that matters. There we go. 5,870, which is a lot less than the last race, I think. Which is a little bit annoying. But it's all right. And we're obviously going to be moving on to our first license. So we're going to be doing the Ford Mustang around Apricot Hill. Then Brands Hatch with the Lotus. Then Circuit de Spa Franken-Champ. I think that's how you say it. Uh, with the Civic Type R. Uh, and then the BRZ. Yes. And then Apricot Hill with a what looks like a Mazda RX-7. So let's go for the first one. Right, we are here driving the Ford Mustang now. Why are you going so wide? There we go. Oh, 
Perfect. Let's get around that corner. Nice. 16, 17. Oh, 18.033. That is worth a retry because I knew we were breaking a little bit too soon. So if we try a tad bit later. Look at that. 15, 16, 17. Yes, 17.697. See, that instant improvement just from that later break-in. That is insane. That is so good. Right. Uh, so next up, let's go take a look at what the second license is going to be. Uh, so we are around a brand hatch with a Lotus Elise. Um, so we are aiming for a 14.5. Let's give this a try. Right, so this mission is called uh, Approaching a Low Visibility Corner, which is fair enough. Where was my grip? I lost it all. What? How does that work? Okay. Gold medal, 14.2. I'm obviously a lot better than I thought at Gran Turismo. That is crazy. That was first try as well because there was no new record time. Which means it was first time. What? Ugh. That is crazy. Right, next up is Circuit de Spa Franco Champ. And we are taking the Civic Type R for this one. We're aiming for a 17.3. Right, let's do this. Spa, Frank and Charm. Sixteen. Gold first time again. That is crazy. Fair enough. I will take that then. Right. Uh, let's exit. Go to A4, the fourth license. Uh, what are we looking at for this one? The Twin Ring Motogi with the Subaru BRZ. In most cases where you have consecutive corners turning in the same direction, the best idea is to take a line clipping point or apex of each corner. Yeah, fair enough. So we are going round that middle section there. Okay, cool. Right, let's do this. We're obviously in the BRZ again. Look at that time. Gold medal again. That is crazy. I do I do like how it is easier, but it then means I'm not challenging myself as much. So I don't know. I mean it is more accepting towards like easier making it easier for people who aren't as good. Okay, so we're aiming for 31 seconds, so this is a much longer section this time. So let's do this. Right, let's go. Look at those pop-up headlights as well. That is awesome. We are in a Mazda Roadster touring car as well. Uh, it has no lights. Oh, what was that? Oh, we hit the cones. Oops. Let's try again then. We're obviously aiming for 31 seconds, then 32, then 35. Perfect. Oh, 
And across the line with a 1, a 31.1. So we can give that another try. See if we can get that gold. We're going to aim for a little bit later breaking on this section then. Perfect. Look at that, 30.884. Second attempt. There we go. That is the National A license completed. Let's see, what rewards do we get for that? We get ourselves a nice little card. You can now take part in National A class race events. Awesome. And we got all gold as well. So, for getting all gold, do we get a car? Oh, awesome! KTM Expo! Crossbow! That is awesome! Oh, I'm getting that in white. That looks nice. That looks really cool. We're getting all gold as well. No, I don't want to use it now. That is awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Run for your fucking life.